Welcome back to my channel. My name is Charmaine and I'm going to be getting ready with you today. So I'm just getting ready because I'm going to do a haul. I think I'm going to do my TJ Maxx haul because that's a super huge haul. It's about five bags of things that I bought for my birthday um, in March, but I'm still holding on to them. And I finally need to do that haul so I can put all that stuff away. And then I think I might also try to get in a haul for my, I have Sephora and Ulta, and I think like a couple items from Marshalls and I'll do those together. So I'm gonna see if I can knock out those two hauls, do my makeup, and kinda knock out some videos to go ahead and post for the coming up week. So we're gonna get into that, and I've already kinda prepped my face, like I did my skincare, and I did my eyebrows, of course. So we're just going to do the rest of our face and our eyes together so to get started I'm going to usually I already have like my eyes prepped but I thought I would prep my eyes on camera with you so that way you see that full process and then for the palette today I'm going to be using this Cara Beauty Havana Club and I'll show you what this looks like it has like a nice large mirror in there so it looks like this and because I'm wearing this green camo um, jumpsuit, I think I'm gonna do green and purple today. So I think I'm gonna do like these greens and like these purples here. I don't know, I'm gonna try to make that work. I kinda wanna do something funky. So I'm not leaving the house or anything anyway, so. Or maybe I will, I don't know. But maybe I will. I'm trying not to leave the house because every time I leave the house, I go to TJ Maxx, so. All right, I'm gonna use this Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer, and this is the color 125 Light Natural, and this was just in front of me, so I'm just going to use this. I kinda use whatever concealer I grab from my drawer, but I do like the Milani Concealer. This one's actually almost out, so use a lighter color so that way when I'm putting these like colorful eye shadows on they pop and I know some people like to put their concealer on and then put the eyeshadow directly over that I like to set my eyes with baking powder first so I usually use the air spun and then do the eyeshadow I've actually never tried the other way and I do kind of let it sit on my eye a little bit before I start blending it out and I just blend it out with a damp sponge I am going to be using tape today, so I put the tape on after I do all this, of course. So let's take the air sponge and I will just dip into that and pat that in. Just to set it. Alright, and then I know it looks like I have like a Ninja Turtle mask on, but we're going to keep moving forward. And where's my tape? Okay, so I'm just going to use this scotch tape that I have. Satin finish scotch tape. It says gift wrap. So just place that. on my eye and making sure like it's stuck down so that way it doesn't lift as I'm doing my eyeshadow and then before I lay this one down because it's like see-through sometimes I can't see if like they're aligned okay I think they're aligned if I do this right here This one looks a little bit. Okay, I'm trying to make sure at the same level. Okay. Okay, if they're not, you know, we're just gonna still keep pushing through. Okay, so they're stuck down there. Let's go ahead and grab a brush. All right. And let me think. I'm trying to think. Okay. So first things 
first, I think what I'm going to do is put green on the, like on my lid and then do the purple for the outer area. And then I think I'm going to wing it out with green. That's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. I just don't know how that's gonna come out, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. So I'm gonna dip into this color, it's called Plum Wine, and then I think I'll probably deepen it up with Cigar Bar here. And this palette has color names. So we're gonna go ahead and pack on Plum Wine into our crease. And it's okay if it goes above our crease because we are going to be deepening up my crease anyway, so. And this is where I find out if I kind of put the tape on the right areas. I think what I did I feel like this one's a little bit higher. Okay, let's just keep going. Okay, and I'm bringing the purple all the way forward because I'm going to cut my crease and this is plum wine. And when I blend, I like blend in circular motions. Okay. I'm gonna take this color Social Club, which is this light lavender purple, and just blend on that outer edge of plum wine. And usually I don't take my eyeshadow up this high, but I did say I want to do something a little bit different and funky today, so getting out of our comfort zone. Okay, so I blend that out all the way. And now I'm going to get a smaller brush. I'll take this one. And I'm gonna go into this deep purple here. And this color, I want to take just in my crease and right here. So I don't really want it to follow the lines of the tape. I just want it to come right here. so hot in here I had the fan on but I had to turn it off because it was blowing the background around but now I'm like dying okay so see that and I'm not gonna just leave that like that I am going to blend that out a little bit so let me take this brush here and I'm just going to kind of blend that into the other purple. Okay. All right, and you can take the brush that you had the first plum wine on and just like go over the outer edge very lightly because you don't want to get rid of that deepness that you put in your crease but you do want to make sure that those outer corners are blending okay but I still want it to be a little bit dark okay all right now what I'm gonna do is take this Beauty Bay Eye Base in white. And again, this has been my favorite since I got it. 
I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand there. Not too much, just a little bit. And cutting your crease is serious business. So I need like this mirror up close. So I, I hope that you'll be able to see, but if not, I'll have to come back on after. So what I'm trying to do is just cut my crease to make this look neater. And I'm using the dark purple shade as a guide. You guys can't see. And I pat around the outer edge just to make sure that it's even. And then I'll go on the inside. If you haven't tried this Beauty Bay eye base, like I definitely recommend it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and come back because you guys can't see what I'm doing anyway because I just need this too close to me to be able to see. So I will be right back. All right, so I've cut my crease and now I'm gonna start taking the color green onto that inner corner or onto my lid, I should say. And now there's a few greens in here. And I don't know which one I want to use. So we're probably going to be mixing. I think what I'm going to use is we're going to take Crazy Jungle and put that on the outer corner. Maybe I'll create like a halo within this cut crease here. Okay, we want that pigment and we do not want that getting on that purple there so just like that now to the other eye making sure that I'm only putting it on the areas that I have cut Okay, so now we just have to figure out what green are we going to put on that center. And I think I'm gonna add two more greens into there. I'm just cleaning off my brush. Um, so let me, I have two greens in here. So the shimmer green is this Adios one. And this one's more of a like a glittery, this is mermaid tail, so. Okay, mermaid tail and then I think I'm gonna go with mermaid tail let's start putting mermaid tail which it not mermaid tail I'm gonna go with adios okay so we're gonna start putting adios onto that center part here that's left open and we're just gonna pack that on And I'm just tapping it on and I'm tapping it basically back and forth so it is kind of going into the other green we took which is crazy jungle which we want but I'm still gonna take another green probably all right so the other green I want to take is this mambo color which is this one. I wanna take that and kind of blend that where um, 
where adios and crazy jungle meat i'm gonna blend in this mambo so just right here and i'm gonna put this back and forth Okay, like that so that it blends in and I'll do that on both sides and I just pat I do a lot of patting I don't do any like swiping or anything like that just pat and I'll keep patting back and forth to make sure that those blend like that so like do you see the difference once I blended that third green in there from like this eye, it just transitions better. So we're gonna do the same on this eye. And there we go. Now, for the outer lid. Do I wanna keep that purple or did I wanna take green? I was thinking I was going to do green, but now that I'm done with the green, I think I might do purple. I'm thinking I'm going to do purple. I don't know. Okay, let's just go with the purple. I wanted this look to be... Okay, so we're going to take the purple. And I'm going to take the purple that I used... I'm going to take my time to deepen it up. So I'm going to start with this plum wine and then go into cigar bar for that outer edge. And I'm going to use this brush here. So I'm not going to touch the green at all. I'm going to just stick on this outer area here and I'm just patting it on to get that color down and then I'll blend it in after that. So first I just want to get the color down. that and then I'm going to take so that was plum wine now I'm going to take cigar bar and I will just keep building up that deeper purple by tapping it on and then blending that out. All right, so now that that's on, I'm going to take the color, this lighter purple, so Social Club, and I just want to blend out the edges using this lighter shade. This is what we have so far I kind of feel like putting an eyeliner or something to separate that green from the purple but I don't want to mess the look up but I kind of want to let me see if I see an eyeliner that I really want to try be right back Okay, so I took a chance and I did the eyeliner thing. So I used this Iridescent Liquid Eyeshadow and this is Iridescent Dream. This is by LA Girl. So just a swatch, looks like that. I feel like I've used this before in a video. Um, this might be my go-to, I just really like it. Uh, it's pretty. For my eyeliner, I use the 18 Hour Essence Super Last Eyeliner. This is waterproof. And then mascara, the Essence Lash Princess False Effect Lash Mascara, waterproof. So that's what I've used so far. We're gonna go ahead and remove this tape and see how everything looks. Oof, kind of sweating. Okay. All right, so I haven't done any primer, so we're gonna be doing primer together. 
I'm going to use this Energizing Primer Veil by Hard Candy with Vitamin C. It says 12 hour wear helps brighten skin plus citrus extract. It's lightweight and refreshing. I actually really do like this. So I'm just putting a small amount. You don't need that much. And it smells good. All right, and now for foundation. I'm gonna use this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop and I'm in the color 15.8 Honey. I had to re-up on this so this is my new bottle. And this is definitely my favorite because I've already gone through I want to say one or two bottles this year already so this is like my third bottle this is my go-to foundation I've been trying to not touch this one and use my other ones so that I'm using them all but I think if I were to like only have maybe three foundations this would definitely be one of my three Another one I really like is the NARS foundation, and that one I'm in the color Tahoe. And then let's see, the other foundation I like is, okay, here's my other foundation that I like, which is the Maybelline Superstay foundation. I go back and forth between, I think it's 330 and then 334 Warm Sand. So this is, or Warm Sun, this is 334 Warm Sun. The other shade I'm actually out of so I usually go back and forth between those two. I'm just getting another couple of pumps of the NYX. But I would say those are my three favorites. Oh, and the Fenty. So in Fenty, I am the color, I believe, 360. Yeah, so let me say four. Those are like the four that I would definitely buy over again and that I use up the other foundations. It does take me a while to go through them. And I do like a full coverage look. So. And I take it like into my hairline because I want it to like match all the way through because I have very fine thin hair and I just don't think that that looks right if you don't. Another thing I don't think looks right, I see it pretty often when I'm out is like you can tell when someone's done their eyebrows and like this space right here doesn't look filled in. You can see like that line where they did the, like the concealer. But they don't ever like just pat it in and you just want to take a sponge and just pat it in for them I like to pat that in if you don't I mean that's your thing but I definitely need to pat that in now for my concealer I also like the NYX can't stop concealers and I like the Kylie Jenner concealers. I like the sharp, the Tarte Shape Tape concealer. And okay, so here's the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm really liking this. The Fenty Beauty, I like this. I like the Born This Way concealer. I like the Kylie Jenner concealer. Okay, the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, I like that. And then also the Milani. So today, let's see, I'm gonna first start by putting the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in Golden. And you put on as much concealer as you like. I'm gonna put on as much as I like. Whatever makes you feel good, okay? So Golden, the NYX, and then I do mix them. So today I think I'm gonna go in with probably the 
we'll go over top with the Kylie one and I'm going to use I have four shades but this one I picked up is amber I just kind of randomly pick up a concealer and use that oh these kind of match okay I'm going to need a little bit of a lighter one so I'm going to take the Milani concealer in warm beige and I'm not going to put that everywhere I hope this one's lighter okay yeah this is a little lighter I'm just gonna put that on the inner part here if after I blend it out and I feel like it's not light enough or it's not giving me enough glow then I'll kind of go in with another lighter shade but for now that's good enough I'm going to take this Morphe Dimension Stick, and this is Effect 16. And I'm just going to take my brush and just blend this in. It'll get blended, so don't worry. And I take this into my hairline as well, because you want it. It's all about that blending and the transitioning of the colors. You don't want your makeup to look like it's just a mask and it stops at your hairline. You want it to like look like it actually blends in. So to finish blending it in, I'm going to use my sponge and my sponge is damp it's always damp I wash my sponge every day right before I use it so I start off with a clean sponge I don't just wet the sponge already dirty I actually wash it and then I rinse it out and I use it okay now I'm gonna start blending in the concealer I do my under eye last most of the time. That's the area I need like the most help because I have under eye creasing. And then just making sure because I have a lot of forehead space. I just want to make sure like the contour is blending in with the conceal that I'm putting on my forehead. All right, and then I'll go under my eye. And I kind of squint when I do it to kind of remove the wrinkles so that <laughs> my under eye wrinkles so that the concealer can like get in those fine lines. So I squint. Let me bring my mirror a little bit closer. And then I kind of go in the inner corner right there on my nose. And I just make sure I get that blended really good. And then I take the butt of the blender just to blend the outer areas like that. See? Okay. And then kind of pat everywhere else really quick. Really quick. And then I'm going to take my air spin because this is also an everyday, and I'm going to pat that under my eye. And I do the squinting thing again when I'm doing that. And just making sure I take the time to like really pat that in so it doesn't look cakey and it looks like my Skin. this is like a whole process so I make sure that I have enough time to like do my face so if I have to get up a couple hours earlier to get ready then I will do that because I cannot be walking around looking half but even if I am just walking around in the house I feel better when I get ready and like get dressed. So 
sometimes that's just what you need and then you know with the pandemic and everybody having to be at home a majority of the time and like not getting ready and getting up and getting dressed you start to get in like a funk and you don't feel good and for me like when I feel like I look good I feel good and I think like you can probably see that in the videos because the starting of my videos I'm just like a little bit more like blah and then towards the end there's like you know I'm like okay I'm you know like I'm feeling good there's a lot of neck action I feel confident and positive so sometimes I just take that time to like get ready and do what you need to do to feel good and for me this is what I like to do this is like my moment to myself where I'm not thinking about anything I'm not stressed about anything I'm just in my zone all right so now we're gonna go ahead and set the rest of our face with our foundation powder so I use the NYX can't stop won't stop for foundation so let me see what I have to use for the powder let's go ahead and set my face with the Tarte shape tape press powder and then I have the color tan sand I feel like my necklace is moving okay and I'm just I just swirl it in here and I just pat it on my face I do not swipe it at all because things blend in better when you pat if you swipe it especially on top of like your foundation it might go on patchy so just this is what I do everywhere and I do sometimes pat it wet all the time I pat it over my eyebrows so that my eyebrows kind of set in because I use a gel okay so now I have the powder on now I just need to get my contour for contour I'm gonna use this Tarte princess no wait Park Avenue princess palette this is the chisel palette and she looks like this so I use like these I just kind of mix them and I'll show you what I mean I just go like this um, to the end I actually I don't probably use these I think I probably use them as like my brow bone highlight but that's it then of course just making sure you blend then when I get to my hairline I just pat that on all right, and then for my nose contour, um, this color here at the end is has some shimmer in it, so I don't use that on my nose. I use this one here, which is called Angle. Okay, so I use Carrot Princess Cut Angle and Crown when I'm like mixing them off for just like my face to contour, but for my nose, I just use Angle. And I do it very lightly. Like that and now for the blush I have this vintage lace blush intense dual pigment blusher this is the revolution so makeup revolution London blush and it does have some glitter in it I will sometimes mix all the colors but I think today I'm going to stick with like hmm I think I'm gonna do these two um, so just kind of pat in there. They're very pigmented, so. Ooh. All right. And now, before I do anything else, I'm gonna take this Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray Ultra Matte Finish with Aloe and Vitamin E and spray this on my face. Okay, and to help that dry faster. All right, so that is dry. And then I like to just kind of go with my blender after I do that. 
and just kind of pat it in more so that it looks like skin even more and it melts in and of course it looks flawless okay and I will go back under my eyes make sure that there's no creasing there actually there's not really any creasing yet and some concealers I will still crease so that's why those are my favorites all right so now what I'm going to do is go back into this palette and let's see should we stick with like green for our lower lash line or should we do purple I feel like I should do the purple because I have the green as the center of attention on my lid and then um, I could do green in my waterline so for my waterline I have this green here which is by wet and wild so let me take out the greens that I see that I have I have some more eyeliners here so let's go ahead and swatch some greens after I clean off this foundation okay so there's that green there's this green we'll have this green there's that I think I might want to use this and put that there Okay, I already feel like I found the green I want to use, but let me just swatch a couple more. I have this green. And these are, some of them are just from um, Amazon. Some of them are LA Girl. They're just random pens I've, or pencils I've had for a while. I'm not going to use this one. This one's kind of falling apart when I use it. So I think I'm going to stick with this green and throw this in my waterline. This is the Italia Deluxe Ultra Fine Eyeliner in 1008 Neon Green. This is for sure off of Amazon. It was like a, in a pack. Okay, then we're gonna put on purple on our lower lash line. So we're going to take this plum wine. So the color that we first put into our crease, we're gonna take that and I'm just gonna stamp that on with this brush. Okay, and then we're gonna take Cigar Bar, the darker purple. And I'm just putting that on the outer part. And then go back into Plum Wine, so that way you can blend them together in the middle where they're meeting. And it doesn't look all funky. All right. Throw some mascara on my lower lash line. I mean, not my, my lower lashes. Okay. And I got a little bit on my skin, my under eye right there. So you just wait till that dries and then you'll kind of be able to just kind of pick it off. So we'll wait till that dries. Now we need to do our lips. For our lips, I'm going to, let me get my wet wipe. So I have lip gloss on to keep my lips moisturized until I'm ready to put this lipstick on. So just removed that. And we're gonna get our lipstick. Since I've been using my favorites, I'm going to keep using like my favorites and I'm going to use this LA Girl Intense Eyeliner Pencil in Lasting Brown but as a lip liner. Okay. And for the lip, I'm going to use the Glam White in Hot Chocolate. So I really like the Hot Chocolate and I like Eggnog as well. 
So we're gonna use hot chocolate today, or maybe I should use eggnog. Let me see if I can find eggnog, hold on. Boom, found it just like that. Okay, it was right at the top. So I'm, I like eggnog, so I'm gonna use eggnog. So I like eggnog more than hot chocolate. And then over top, I'm gonna use the Glam Light and Donut. Okay. And this has like some sparkle to it and it's more like a gloss. Okay, so that's it for my lips. All right, and so this is a completed look. I pretty much use all my favorite products today or just favorite or products that I'm really loving. Most of them were my favorite products. I do like the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Contour Palette. Um, I don't reach for it as much because I do have a few other bronzers that I use, but it's still one of my favorites and I like the packaging. Um, the Cara Beauty Palettes, I really like their palette. So this is actually a first impression because I haven't used this palette yet. So um, you, I don't think you can go wrong with Cara Beauty, but I would not go to their website and pay full price for them because they usually end up in TJ Maxx, which is where I've gotten all my Cara Beauty palettes from. So check out your local TJ Maxx to see what Cara Beauty pa uh, palettes they have. I have also stocked up on a few Cara Beauty palettes so that I can eventually do a giveaway. I think I have um, four of them. And they're in the other, I couldn't find this one, so I had the other two palettes. One's a neutral palette, and then the other one does have some colors in there, like colorful, bold colors. So eventually I will do a giveaway, but as long as you are commenting and engaging down in the comments, I'll be able to see you so that when I do my giveaway, I'll be, you'll be the first at the top of my mind, okay? So um, go ahead, leave a comment, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. I know I will be eventually doing that giveaway once I hit my 1,000 subscribers. I am not there yet. I don't know when I'm gonna get there, but y'all can help me get there by sharing my video and subscribing if you're watching. 